Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to overload pre-increment and post-increment operator in C++. So first of all, we will write a program. Then we will see this overloading concept. So first, we need to include error files. GD and let's uh, create a class. So let's say we are having a class, uh, class one, and this class is having two operator, uh, sorry, two data member int a and int b, and we are having a constructor. Uh, this constructor takes two parameter, and uh, using these two parameter, it will initialize data member of class one. And we, we will define one function as well to print a value of the data member. So here we will print a value and then we will print b value. Okay. Now what we want uh, when we create object of class one. So here we are creating object of class one, and we are making it three and four. So three values will be assigned to A, and four will be assigned to B. Now what we want when we Increase this value like uh, okay. First, we will see pre increment. So, what I want this operator to do with this object when I invoke pre increment, it should increase value of a and value of b by 1. So, we want to de define this behavior. So, for that, we need to define a function. What will be the name of function? Name of function will be operator and plus plus. Now here, what will be the return data type? So this plus plus will be uh, you can say it is actually expanded in ob equal to ob plus one. So return type must be same as class one. So let's say we are uh, saying the return type is same as class one then we will define a function operator plus plus this is a unary operator so there is no parameter needed and here what we will do we will increase value of a we will increase value of b and we will return then this so this is actually a special pointer which gives uh, address of current object object who is calling this function so now after uh, invoking the screen increment operator let's print value of this object so we will compile our program and we will run it So if you can see uh, value of a and value of b now become 4 and 5 initially what we were having value of a was 3 and value of b was 4 and this pre increment actually increased this value so uh, now the question is that how are we going to overload a post increment so far what we know uh, for unary operator we don't pass any parameter but in case of pre increment post increment definition a uh, signature of this function will be same same name same return type so how is your compiler going to differentiate like which definition is for pre increment and which one is for post increment so in case uh, so for only for differentiating between pre increment post increment in post increment there is a dummy parameter passed so 
when we pass an integer type of dummy parameter in a operator plus plus now this plus plus will be for post increment so this is the difference between pre and post in pre we are not having any parameter because this is a unary operator in post same rule applies but uh, in order to differentiate between pre and post we need to pass a dummy parameter so that your compiler can differentiate which one is for post which one is for pre so now this definition is for post increment so this is the program to overload a pre increment operator or post increment operator next tutorial i will show how to overload other operators thank you very much for watching